day. First of all, check my outfit. Cute little teacher dress. Cute little shoes. It's summertime. Okay, it's not really summer, but it's feeling like summer. It's 70 degrees today. It's March. I got the bundles. <laughs> um, so today, what did we do today? We int I introduced them to a new phonics skill. We did some writing practice. And um, I'm going to show you <clears throat> what we did for writing. Right now, I'm preparing some alphabet flashcards for uh, one of my newer students who just got here and um, is learning letter sound correspondence and um, QRST. So I've been working with him and there's one other student, they're both new, who both are working on letter sound correspondence, correspondence, T, U. And um, I've just been working with the parent and the parents have been very helpful because you know I give them what to work on at home with the students. Like right now I'm preparing these flashcards for them and I can tell that they are actually doing it at home because when the student comes to school, he like knows more than he knew last time, T-U-V. So that's always good, T-U-V-W. And I'm really uh, passionate about this because, you know, no matter where a student is, I never want them to leave my class with not knowing more than what they came to me. So even, you know, even if I don't get them reading clearly at, you know, a level L, which is where second graders should be by the end of the year, I can at least get them reading something, reading something, you know? Um, so yeah. So here's something that I prepared. I'm covering the student's name, but it says, hello. Blank is making great progress. I can tell he's been practicing at home. Thanks for your help. Next steps, use flashcards to name each letter in order. Once he's mastered letter names, mix up the cards and can he, oh, and it should say, see if he can identify letters out of order. So I'll have to fix that. And then inside I just gave him um, the, some stickers, a Smarty, an eraser that we use in class that he likes. And then of course the flashcards and i'm just going to give this to his parent so next we have been practicing narrative writing in class so teaching the kids how to write stories how to construct stories um we did this activity uh last week where we talked about crafting a plot and i kind of just made this little person out of some cardstock paper and put a little magnet on it and let me flip the camera around so, well, first we talked about the different parts of a, a narrative. Then we talked about plot um, and the different parts of a plot. So, uh, first you introduce the characters with, with your introduction, which is normally how every story starts off. And then as the story continues, uh, the characters start to develop. He's going up the roller coaster. As the story continues, the suspense increases the excitement of whatever is happening um, and then the climax the highest emotion in the story and then the story starts to wind down with the falling action and then finally the solution is at the end of the story so in our writing journals see we got a lot of graphic organizers does this student have her work uh, of course not let me let me use another student Nope. Um, give me a second. Okay. Crafting a plot. Again, we went over this as a class. Introduced blah, blah, blah. Characters develop, blah, blah, blah. We just went over that last week. Oh, and I read the three little pigs to them. And we identify each of those uh, things in the story. Does anybody have their notes? Oh, I'm so sorry. These are the notes. Okay, yeah. So they glued this in their notes. And then today we started, oh, before that, we uh, talked about the first step in writing a narrative, which is pre-writing and brainstorming ideas. We brainstormed ideas as a class for our class narrative. So Chloe's dog got away during her phone call 
Andrew's car jumped, cat jumped out of a window. And the last idea was the teacher forgot to lock the cage of the class hamster. So these were all ideas that we came up with as a class. And then we voted on which one we wanted to choose. And we chose this one. The teacher forgot to lock the cage of the class hamster. And so today we started planning for it, starting with our introduction. So I gave them a graphic organizer. Um, oh, and first, these are our introduction notes. It's supposed to be glued into the notebook, but we didn't have time to do it last week. So uh, we crafted our introduction, which we know, based on our notes, introduces the character, the setting, and the problem. So our characters, we, we came up with all of this as a class. We said the teacher's name is going to be Miss Red. We're going to have two students named Joy and Tim Tim, and our character's name is Blue. Um... And then we talked about uh, setting. So classroom, New York City, uh, it was a cold sunny day. They came up with this. I don't know why they said New York, but it's in New York. And the problem was that the class hamster escaped. And then we, I had them work together in groups to talk about what would, to come up with a good introduction using what we came up with. And then after that, we wrote it together as a class. So we came up with on a cold sunny day in New York, Tim Tim and Joy went to school. When they got in their classroom, they noticed the cage was empty. So yeah guys, that is that. Um, and then we did our vocabulary. I just recently started vocabulary for third quarter. Each week they get three vocabulary words, which I'll normally put here on our words of the week wall. So their words this week are stated, modern and sore and we play a context clues game on monday where i use the word in a sentence and then they have to um talk at their table groups to come up with a definition of what they think the word means using only the context clues in the sentence um, and then after so that's our monday activity for vocabulary and then tuesday will they'll get their actual vocabulary journals which I should have here. And they actually copy down the definitions in the sentence. So this is from another week. These were their words, ache, flee, and shriek. We copy down the definitions in the sentence. And then on Wednesday, we come up with synonyms and antonyms for each word. And then on Thursday, they do a picture dictionary where they draw a picture so for example, ache, like a toothache, they would draw a picture sh to show the meaning of the word and then Friday is their quiz. So we did vocabulary. Um, their phonics skill this week is uh, two spellings for long I, so I-E and I-G-H. I'm continuously adding to my phonics wall. So whenever we do, I do all my vowels over here because the vowel sounds have so many different spellings. I like to just track them here as we go along. I keep all, any other phonics patterns on my windows over there, if you guys can see those posters. But over here is, um, somebody's calling me, sorry. Phonics, I'm sorry, vowels. So last week we went over uh, a, two spellings for long O, which was O-A. Uh-oh. O-A-O-W and O-E. So now I'm just going to finish adding those posters to the long O column and wait for the kids to come back from lunch. the spelling words that they have for that week. So again, I try to give them five sight words and then five phonics words. And then when we're done for that week, I add the phonics skill with their spelling words so they can remember, oh yeah, goat, toast, and loaf. Those were our spelling words. O-A says O, and then bo, to, follow. So my students found out that I like sour and fruity candy. So now, 
They're always bringing me sour and fruity candy. And I'm not denying it. <laughs> so excited again because look, I don't know where we got the funding from, but we had got an email months ago about we have just extra funding and they literally gave us a list to like pick out things that we wanted from Lakeshore. And so this is one of the things that I said I wanted, like some extra chair cushions, some flexible seating, and it was just delivered to my classroom. It is Christmas. Hey guys, so I'm on my way home from work right now, but I, I had realized on my way home that I recorded footage from today's vlog and I didn't say anything, at least for today. I know I did yesterday, but I didn't do anything today. And so I just wanted to hop on here um, because I won't be in tomorrow and just kind of like recap what I showed you guys. So today I had the kids working on um, oh, they did some partner reading from our book out of the curriculum, which is what I showed you guys. Or if I haven't showed it, I'll show it probably now after this clip. And then after that, they did an assignment uh, where they just answered some comp comprehension questions from the text that they read. And then we did our vocabulary routine. They came up with synonyms and antonyms for their words. Uh, we did writing. We came up with our first par body paragraph for our class narrative that we are planning together. And then we did small groups. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here, probably a short vlog. Um, but again, I'm just trying to uh, be consistent. Again, I know I took a little break, so um, hopefully you enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next vlog.